Thanks, Dr. Stormer, our Dream Alliance team, Dr. Sarkozy, and 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 Dr
he has he made this golem. It's known as the Shuriken Crystal plus Crystal Weapon Golem. What he added to it was he basically scrapped every single other design for these golems and went down to your basic golem, but gave it a crystal weapon that's actually in the shape of a katana that he actually wields. And he gave it a Shuriken Crystal. It's a special crystal that he made. He said that he temporarily gained a um, healing power so and that could replace an eye. So what he did was he cut out his eye, turned it into a crystal from some type of old technique I'm still researching. And put it into these golems and then duplicated that. They used duplication, a type of spell, and duplicated them. Now they are bodyguards and actually are some pretty common golems. They are... Um, but still, these the Shuringun ones are more rare. His clan was known as the Uchiha clan. And they are very, very powerful. Maybe like second rank right now. Like I already stated, they are very powerful. They, um, the other arm though is his regular golem arm. And with that it would be the, um, one second... That would be the left arm, that's the normal arm, and the right arm is the arm with the um, crystal weapon on it. And whatever a sharing gun can do, this crystal gun can do, but it's like one point. It's not as powerful, but maybe half as powerful or so. I could have stated it. it's a powerful golem, but not as powerful as its creator. The height of these golems can range, but they're mostly around hit height. Um, but most commonly, they are taller than him. Just clocking it around, um, more correctly, um, just around 5 foot 10 or so. And these golems can weigh a whopping 100, no, not 100, around 2 tons. Just because of the amount of rocks and how dense they are. Let's get to the next one. I just want to say in this movie promotion that only 1.8% of y'all are actually subscribed. So can y'all please subscribe to this channel and so I can actually make have more fun while making these videos. So more people can see them and that way y'all more people can enjoy my ideas. Well, let's get back into this video. Let's go. Okay, we just went from a from someone who is a combo and hybrid golem. To a golem that is a pure crystal golem. And from a um, clan member that is a, a, um, a, not really a friend, but more of a rival or frenemy of Naruto. To someone who is really close to him. I'm going over his wife, girlfriend, fiance, I forget. It's, I've talked to this guy a lot over the years and he's growing up pretty fast. This is no... And it's probably this is not that she's the um, specialist over the um, the Byaku Bunny. This is known as the Byaku Golem, or most common name, Byaku Crystal Golem. These golems are actually really intelligent, and these were actually created by her great grandmother. Um, the only reason why she's a specialist in that field is because the specialist title is passed down from generation to generation. And each one are required to learn it. She is actually, um, actually really doesn't care about them, but she does do her fair share of research to how to maintain these golems and keep them around. Reason being is because they are like her Byakugan part. Because of the Byakugan crystal, which is a very rare crystal that's naturally forming. When I say rare, I mean like only the, um, her clan knows where they, you can find one. But she shared that information with um, the with me. If I promise not to um, tell anyone, but since these information are going out to another world, and not barely anyone can jump or jump universe as well as some people I know, I'm just gonna say this: they're in they're in an off branch of the and a deep under part uh, underground part of the. Hidden Leaf Mines. But other than that, there's ha they have crystals 
that can surround themselves in some type of power. I've tested it in his chakra, and that enhances their strength relatively decently. So, yeah. But also, I've looked at it, and they have eight chakra points. One in the eye, one in each arm, one in each leg, and then three in a line going down the chest. <sighs> the one in the arms are their crystals, but they're pretty thick and hard to break. So, so you can see how that's gonna end out. I'm and I tested one back in my earlier years when I was around 100 years old. Punched one straight in the arm. Just about broke my left arm. But nowadays I can easily crack it. That's for the same one I fought back then. Um, the but weaker one I can easily shatter in the face. Yeah. That golem I fought when I was a hundred years old was a whole lot more powerful. Let's get to the next one. The next and last golems I'm going over are a rare species of golem, but are very weird. And I've this is a new person I've never interviewed before, but is actually very friendly, and is kind of a pervert. But I really hate perverts, but. This guy is different. He's more of a peeping Tom, but to the point he just only reads magazines and stuff like that. Very rarely he acts like that. I believe that's what he's like anyways. I can get two people mixed up. But, um, he is known as Kakashi. A person who taught Naruto how to control his powers. And he has a And he is a specialist of these golems. They're created by way back before these, before the, um, last three were created. These golems are known as the Lightning Jutsu Crystal Golems, or the Lightning Golems. They're a rare type because of their name. They're your standard golem until you, they get struck by lightning. One arm forms into, like, a claw shape. The other one stand, stays the same, but it gets more power in it. The claw one is able to condense magic from the surrounding area and then shoot it into a lightning bolt. I've tested the amount of lightning bolt and it's been able to power my house for about five years now. And the power just went out. So five years is the max. Okay, give me one second. And the power's back. Yeah, I got a backup generator. I'm going to go talk to him. You can think that's going to be... I just tested that out a year, five years ago. I, this is, that's how old my information is. But I've just been getting more information on the golems. And I just thought about making these audio, fi audio files and drawings so people can see, get a good idea of what they look like for a few years now. Well, for a few months now. After my ran in with the... Um, Someone I now classify as a good friend of mine. I'm usually a loner, for the record. But, back to the golems. Um, some other things are the fact that these golems were made by Kakashi's clan. But they are your stand but they are usually your standard crystal golems. One uses lightning jutsu on one. It was his personal golem. And he found out these golems had the ability to absorb and modify their build, their magical crystals and to adapt and become any golem they want. That is a very rare golem type. It's known as the adapter golem. But these golems became the lightning jutsu golem. Crystal golem. The lightning jutsu is more powerful than your regular lightning strike. So, yeah. The height stands at around six and a half feet tall and weighs about a ton and a half. That's all the golems I have for today. Well, that's all the time I got for today's video. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian's Pakistan or Demonstrate Alliance. Goodbye and peace out, everyone.